Two and a Half Men was a popular sitcom that aired during the early 2000s that catapulted Charlie Sheen's name to mainstream media. And although it ended back in 2015, it's gaining traction once again after new info about the show is revealed recently. For today's episode, we'll be talking about how Two and a Half Men's creator wrote a new show based on Charlie Sheen. What could this new show be about? Keep watching to find out. It has been discovered that Chuck Lorre, the creator of Two and a Half Men, wrote a new show pilot based on his falling out with Charlie Sheen, in which he starred as the main character. What's going on here? I had another business idea. <laughs> what? Hear me out. What do men like better than donuts? <laughs> Chuck Lorre, the creator of Two and a Half Men, has developed a script for a new TV pilot on his falling out with Charlie Sheen, even though it has been a major Hollywood topic for more than 10 years. Sheen starred in the CBS sitcom as the womanizing jingle writer Charlie Harper, whose life is turned upside down when his younger brother Alan must move in with him after being evicted and divorced by his ex-wife, with whom Alan shares custody of their son Jake. Alan has to move in with him because she has given Alan sole custody of Jake. Following a roller coaster of behind-the-scenes changes in its last season, Two and a Half Men ended in 2015 after receiving 46 Primetime Emmy nominations and 9 wins. The pilot script for the upcoming TV series titled Drugs and a Sitcom, written by Chuck Lorre and dated this past June, has been purchased by The Hollywood Reporter. I'm making you crab cakes. But really? I love crab cakes. I know. This is very nice, but maybe next Oh, time. I also have your favorite dessert. The storyline details the Two and a Half Men creators falling out with Charlie Sheen, using a meta perspective to make the conflict concentrate around him and include real-life subjects such as former Warner Brothers executives. The script also included the following description for how Laurie should be portrayed, the most powerful man in television and a wicked bad boy, former CBS CEO Les Moonves, and Matt Lauer, who was characterized as the NBC News anchor back when he was still getting late at work. So, what exactly happened between Charlie Sheen and Chuck Lorre in Two and a Half Men? The conflict between Sheen and Lorre in Two and a Half Men is regarded as one of the most notorious in Hollywood history. It started when Sheen's substance misuse problems repeatedly caused delays in filming the sitcom, which finally led to his termination from the program. Sheen started openly criticizing Lorre in interviews and on his own YouTube channel. Some of his remarks drew charges of anti-Semitism, which almost destroyed Sheen's reputation. The four-time Emmy nominee even went as far as to sue Lorre and W. TV for $100 million. However, a few months later, the case was discreetly resolved by all parties. Following Sheen's termination from Two and a Half Men, Laurie himself was quite open about his dislike for Sheen. As a result, the program was finally changed to kill off Charlie and replace him with Ashton Kutcher's Walden Schmidt, while keeping John Cryer's Allen as his roommate. Kutcher's tenure received largely mixed to negative reviews from reviewers and viewers alike, although experienced a minor increase in ratings. This led to the decision to end the show after season 12. When Charlie was revealed to be alive in the Two and a Half Men series finale, Laurie still seized the chance to exact revenge on Sheen. However, he had a piano dropped on him at the conclusion, and he then turned to the camera and said, winning, effectively breaking the audience's spell and ending any chance of a revival. So, will we ever get to see Chuck Laurie's script turn into a reality? Some people are unsure whether the pilot will ever be produced, because the script's report appears to show that Laurie simply made passive attempts to shop it around town. It seems likely that only someone confident in the material would take to giving it a chance given Sheen's reputation in Hollywood, which is still a very convoluted one, and the delicate nature of his dispute with Laurie. Although his continued partnership with CBS would provide a challenge, Laurie's connections to Netflix and HBO Max might be useful channels for getting the movie produced. Regardless of if the pilot is produced, viewers can try to remember happier times by watching the complete season of Two and a Half Men streaming on Peacock. Knowing that Chuck Laurie has a script out there of something he wrote for Charlie Sheen, of course, we're curious and we'd like to see it come true, but from the looks of it, this seems like a bleak reality as of now. Moving forward, let's talk about Two and a Half Men's theme song, whose voice is behind it, because from what we heard, it wasn't the cast members. Who is actually singing the incredibly catchy theme song from Two and a Half Men? The 2003 sitcom Two and a Half Men initially followed the financially strapped Alan as he moved into his brother Charlie's beachfront home in Malibu after Alan got a divorce. The series was centered on Charlie's lifestyle of casual and drinking in contrast to Alan's perpetual loser status. The half man in the title refers to Alan's adorable dim-witted son Jake. Two and a half men, like the majority of Chuck Lorre sitcoms, including The Big Bang Theory, rarely earned favorable reviews, but it was a ratings powerhouse. It was one of the most watched sitcoms on television, but it also gained notoriety for its production-related problems. Following season eight, Charlie Sheen abruptly left the show, and CBS swiftly fired him for his actions and his conflict with Lorre. Hugh Grant briefly pondered assuming the role of a new character, 
but Ashton Kutcher was chosen to play Walden Schmidt, a lovelorn billionaire. In subsequent seasons, Jones would also experience a religious awakening that caused him to leave the show, even though he returned for the conclusion and declared its content to be garbage. Because the theme song for Two and a Half Men features the words men and manly repeatedly, which is irritating given that Charlie's role on the program produced commercial jingles, the opening titles show the cast singing this song to the camera, and this theme was co-written by Laurie and Lee Aronson. Of course, that isn't the actor singing. And here's the big reveal. There were professional musicians behind the show's annoyingly catchy theme song. Studio musicians sing the Two and a Half Men theme song, while Elizabeth Daly, a well-known voice actress well recognized for her work on the Powerpuff Girls, provided the voice of Jake in the episode. As Jones grew up on the show, Jake's appearance was depicted in the opener, which was infamous for changing every season. Beginning with season 9, Kutcher was included in the theme for the opening credits. Another episode of Two and a Half Men, which featured cameos from Christian Slater and Arnold Schwarzenegger, aired in 2015 after a total of 12 seasons. There doesn't appear to be any plans for a Two and a Half Men resurrection, even though John Cryer has now gained new fans for his role as Lex Luthor in the Arrowverse. Although Sheen has recently shown signs of being open to a reboot, their tense relationship would probably act as a big roadblock to one happening. And did you know, the show's creators also lent a hand to compose the theme song. Chuck Lorre developed and produced Two and a Half Men, and he also contributed to the theme song's creation. The Big Bang Theory writer Lee Aronson, a co-creator of the series with Lorre, also contributed to the song's composition. Chuck has written music in the past, most notably for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's also important to note that Grant Geisman contributed to the theme song's creation and is a composer for the program. In fact, Geisman plays the piano throughout the series, while Charlie Sheen does not play any music at all. He is also in charge of all the jingles that Charlie Harper created for the show. Numerous others have made fun of the Two and a Half Men theme song, but Bart Baker is maybe the most well-known. The Two and a Half Men theme song's apparent simplicity belies the complexity of its conception and execution, and the series creator's involvement made it more closely aligned with the overall tone and aesthetic of the program, making it stand out as a truly timeless composition that is stuck in viewers' memories to this day. So now we know the feud between Charlie Sheen and Chuck Lorre, but what happened between Charlie Sheen and Ashton Kutcher? Kutcher took over as John Cryer's co-lead in Two and a Half Men Season 8, after Charlie Harper, played by Sheen, was killed off. The No Strings Attached actor later admitted that he first went in for an entirely different part before landing the part of Walden Schmidt. I went and met with Chuck Lorre, and he seemed like a really smart guy, and he had an idea for this character that I thought was really interesting, which wasn't the character that I ended up playing, Kutcher recalled on the WTF with Mark Marin podcast. They may have had bad blood, but it seems they were all past that since in 2016, they were both seen shaking hands at a Los Angeles Dodgers game. With that, we're ending today's video about Two and a Half Men. Do you think Chuck Lorre's other script about Charlie Sheen should be greenlit? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like these. See you next time, and thanks for watching.